Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies and today I'd like to talk about and do an unboxing on Aramex's pit soldering iron set. This is a really handy little tool. Uh, I use one myself, so this is it indeed. Um, this isn't a brand new unit, but let's jump in, unbox it, build it up and do some soldering. Okay, so over here, the beautiful case that it comes in, fits in your toolbox really, really well. Perfect if you're traveling, whether it's on the plane or interstate or just packing in your toolbox to get to the track. Okay, we've got this beautiful silicon wire here. Now this will plug into, it's got four mil um, banana plugs on it. This will plug into, most of us use a power supply with such connectors, a charger with a 12 volt output or a 3S battery even can work off that. So I'm gonna go ahead here and plug it into my power supply. The other end of the wire, we've got a nice little um, jack there that plugs into the soldering iron. Nice and flexible, like I said, really good to work with. Next, we've got the base. And that's really cool. It's got a little sponge in there, which I wet earlier, keep it nice and damp. This is a base, nice, heavy, sturdy base. Little parts tray. Can even put the Aramax pit light on there for that added feature. Um, and I believe I've been told by other racers that if you're not using it to hold your soldering iron, you can actually do your 12th scale diffs in there. It's like must be a quarter inch hole in the base. So that's a handy little addition. Okay, so the next thing we've got is the soldering iron itself. Really, really nice handle here. We've got a matte carbon finish. Got a little LED here. Beautifully presented as always with Aramax. You can see the power cable goes in the end here in the jack. Um, the tip itself, beautiful heavy duty construction. We've got a chisel tip here, really good for the majority of, of uh, all our RC connectors, motors, speed controllers, batteries, everything like that. That slides into there and then we are ready to solder. Okay, next step for the base is this little pivoting handle. Now that's really good because the handle itself actually screws into here. So it can't tip over, fall out and burn yourself. So it's really, really good. It's a nice little safety measure there. So pop that in here. I just need a two and a half mil Allen key, which I've got over here. Tighten up this screw, like so, and away we go. You can put that in there. It can still, you can do it up so you can, I've done it a little bit tight. So you can actually pivot it a little bit, like so, while you're working. Nice little adjustable stand here and, and it adjusts from the top as well. And it, like I said, screws in, keep it nice and safe, can't fall over, burn anything. So, go ahead, we've got our 12 volt connector here plugged in. Plug that straight in, like so. And then we're greeted with a little warm, warming light on the top. Warming light, and a light indicating that it's warming. You can see that on camera. So that is in a solid state. Orange, when that's ready to solder, um, that will start blinking orange and green. Other things while that's warming up, we've got our silver solder, which is really, really good. If you're doing eight scale, high voltage, really high demand stuff, this, the Aramax silver solder 2% is really good. Um, doesn't always have the nicest finish. It does leave often a matte solder joint, but it is a very, very strong and a highly conductive solder joint. So that comes in there. Got our instructions. Tells you how to assemble it. And our stickers. Fantastic, we'll put this to the side now. A beautiful little case. And we'll, I'll demonstrate some soldering and just how quickly it warms up. So you can see now in the top light, it's actually blinking orange and green. So it's warm, so it's only taken like 30 seconds to a minute. I'll just do a little bit of test heat. Beautiful, plenty of smoke. Put it on the sponge. Clean the tip off, like so. Okay, pop that back in there. Now, I've got a soldering job to do. We're gonna quickly unsolder the wires on this. So we've got a 13 gauge Orca wire here. And you can see here that I have in, in the past used the high temp solder. For this one here, I'm gonna use the Orca high gloss solder because I've really been enjoying using that lately. So I'm just gonna tin the tip a little bit, like so straight into my motor join and you can see how easy that was that came straight off and the heat to go again 
Let's in it a little bit more. Three consecutive big soldering joins. As easy as that. Nice and smooth, so no flux went up into the wire. Um, it's all nice and flexible, ready to resolder. So I'll clean these soldering tabs off and then we'll go again. Now you'll notice as well, I'm working on a silicon pit mat. Now I really enjoy soldering on these because when you get solder on them, it just comes straight off. Like so, get, get my motor tab nice and clean. Sorry guys if this is a bit hard to see on the overhead camera. Like so. Ensure that we've got all nice fresh solder and flux for our new join. No. A couple of screws on my solder. See this comes straight off the with no marks. If you do that on your nice fancy neoprene mat, it tends to um leave a mark somewhat. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is re-tin the wires. So I'll start with my A wire. So there's a little bit of solder in here that's flicked in. There we go. You just want to make sure that there's nothing. The last thing you want is a short in your motor. I'm just going to go ahead here and retin my wire. Now as a soldering helper, I often use a little bit of solder, a little bit of blue tack like so. Really good. So you can get the wire at the angle that you want. Always like to solder with the wire facing up, that way the heat, because heat always travels upwards. Tin the soldering iron, tin the wire. Get a nice circular blob on there without getting too much. And if your blue tack does melt, you just wipe it off itself. Go ahead here. I might actually use pliers for this one. Got my nine steps pliers here. If I can get the nice angle that I'm looking for. Here we go. Get a bit of heat into the tab. Just making sure it's on camera. Like so. You can see how quick the heat went through. Meaning that no flux went up to the wire. And I've got a beautiful, I can zoom right in there in the overhead. I've got a really beautiful and glossy soldering joint. Now I won't do all three, but that is a demonstration there of exactly how to go about resoldering re -soldering your motor. Um, and I did it all using the Aromax um, pit soldering station. Really, really nice. Again, after I finish using it, clean the tip off. Um, we've got high temperature silicon wire here, so it won't burn easily. Not that I recommend you solder the tip with it, but yeah, stays nice and hot, really powerful. When you finish using it, you can just unplug it and put it back in the soldering station. A really cool little pit tool. No worries at all, guys. Well, I'm Brett from Hearns Hobbies, and thanks for taking a look at me at the Aramax pit soldering station.